Yo, what's up, boy Ghost here? Today I am bringing you guys another comparison video between the OTS and PBSH, and I'm finally making an OTS comparison video. Ever since it's been out, I've been wanting to make one, but I just haven't been able to. And the time that I was gonna make one, it ended up getting nerfed, so it would have made my video kind of like um, just inaccurate, given the fact that the stats I talked about in that video were the ones before it got nerfed. But now here we are. I'm OTS versus PBSH, uh, two SMGs that I consider not to be. The top SMGs in the moment. Um, yeah, you can make the argument for the Bullfrog or Mac, but I believe that the PBSH and OTS are respectively one and two. Um, and you know, you'll see why in a few seconds. But um, before we do get into this comparison, I want to say if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. One road to 2,000. We're about 160, maybe a little bit less subs away from 2,000. And um, you know, let's hope we can hit this uh, 2,000 before the year ends. That'd be, that'd be that's a goal. Hopefully we can do it. I know you guys can help me do that, so I greatly appreciate it. And also, if you guys could do me a favor of following me over at my Twitch channel at Overscores underscore. We are, what, 209 followers, so like 41 away from 250. Any followers help. And um, yeah, with that being said, though, let's get to this question. We have the recoil pattern for the OTS, and as you guys can see, it's a straight recoil pattern. However, don't let this fool you because this weapon does have quite a bit of recoil, especially since in one of the last two or three nerfs that, or updates, I should say, that they did of Warzone, the OTS ended up receiving a recoil nerf. Um, and without an underbarrel, like my class setup has, uh, this gun at range could get a little iffy at times. It's not the most difficult thing to control. Uh, definitely pretty easy, just like most guns in the game, but. You know, if you're not careful, you're not really controlling your right analog well, you're going to be missing a lot of shots at range. And it's 100% not accurate. It's just not the most 100% accurate gun in the game. Hopefully that will confuse you guys. Um, but it's definitely really good at close to medium range. This gun is probably the best SMG. At, not probably. Definitely the best SMG in terms of damage and just everything um, in the game at the moment. I think PPSH is definitely a close second or third if you, you know, want to put like a bullfrog up there. For me personally, though, I think the PPSH is second. Uh, but many of you guys probably might put the bullfrog up there. Uh, but the one bad thing about this gun is just the ammo capacity. If you guys recall, when this gun was ground loot, the 20 round mag was a nightmare for everybody because it was just not enough in the beginning game. But when you get your loadout and even if you max it up and out, the max bullets you can get is 40. And I think in terms of balance, it's a good thing that it's only 40 bullets because if the OTS had 50, 55, 53, like... This gun would be just ridiculously broken, and one nerf wouldn't have been enough. And uh, if you guys remember this gun before it got nerfed, uh, this gun was definitely hidden. I actually, initially, when this gun was meta, or before it got nerfed, I didn't think it was all that. And I thought it was just getting gassed for no reason. I had that opinion for a while, until I picked it up again, and I started using it, and I was like, dude, this gun is literally untouchable. It's final form. And even now, after the nerf, I thought it was going to get completely eradicated. And after, like, the first few days of the OTS nerf, people were like... You know kind of getting away from it but then all of a sudden bro it just came back and it's definitely the top three options at the moment for smgs you might disagree with me on that but i highly doubt anyone's going to disagree with that statement because this gun is still lit and when you guys hear the stats it's still pretty pretty ridiculous and i gotta be honest man i hate just manifesting this type of energy but i could see this gun definitely getting up a second time um in terms of damage again because the damage is pretty pretty ridiculous maybe it not like the base damage, like, maybe not like chest damage on that, maybe probably a headshot multiplier damage or something. Because, uh, yeah, when you guys see my stats, it's really pretty shocking. Um, because they did actually significantly nerf it the first time around. They did uh, quite a bit to this gun the first time around, but yet it's still really, really, really good. Um, you know. So I could definitely see in the next season or whenever the next major update for guns comes out, this weapon might receive a tad bit of a nerf. Hopefully it doesn't get completely murked, uh, but you know, that's just how it is nowadays. Guns only get to live their glory days for a little bit before they get hit. I um, mean, this is one of those guns that definitely probably will get hit again. Um, I just, it's just way too dominant at the moment. Um, um, it's dominant to go with. I don't feel like it's completely broken because, again, a gun like PBSH is able to compete with it. And with that being said, let's get into the PBSH slash stats. And here are the Rico pattern for the PBSH. Not necessarily a straight line, however, it's not the craziest Rico pattern out there. Um, and I gotta say, added on to the fact that this gun also doesn't have underbarrel, or at least my class setup doesn't, the Rico could get kind of crazy if you're not careful. You definitely gonna need some right analog action when you're using this gun, um, especially over the course of range, like I would say like medium to long range, or long range for SMGs, not like long range in terms of like AR range. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't know, maybe I, Underbarrel would help, I probably would help, but like, it's just, 
SMGs nowadays, I don't really build them for range. I like the range aspect of the SMGs, and if a SMG does have range aspects, then I like to take advantage of it. But I don't know, guns like the OTS and PPSH, I'm not really like looking forward to using these weapons because of the range. I just use them because they're really dominant at close range. And I don't really think an underbarrel is necessary at close range. I mean, I think if anything, you just want to use that extra attachment slot to make it faster, better in ADS speed, better at pull-up time. Like, I think now that's like the meta when it comes to SMG builds. A lot of, if you see a lot of people out there, uh, most of their builds with SMGs are now like not using underbarrels or just things that should help it in accuracy. It's just, it's all about mobility now, which is okay because, you know, SMGs aren't really meant for long range. They're not necessarily used for that. They can be used like the Bullfrog and Mac 10, but that's not the primary focus you should be thinking about when talking about SMG. These are meant to dominate at close to medium range, and they do just that. OTS previous H. They're that dominant at those ranges. Uh, but the first thing that I want to talk about is fire rate. So for the OTS, we have an 855 RPM, whereas the PBSH has a 904 RPM. And that is a pretty small difference there, but you gotta keep in mind that the PBSH has 70 or up to 71 rounds, or even 55, and you have a really fast fire rate, and it does a pretty good amount of damage. And the OTS has a pretty fast fire rate, but like it kind of capped up at 40 bullets. Like if that thing had 50-55, it's just like unfair and it would quite literally break the game. But thankfully, you know, they, the developers used their head a little bit. They didn't allow for it to happen. You know, it's just an injustice. It's kind of an injustice that we can't see a 55 round OTS in action, but at the same time, for the sake of balance, you know, it's okay that it's not in the game. Um, but anyways, man, moving over to the damage. It gets a little interesting here because the OTS starts off really hot, but then it kind of falls off over the course of the range. So for starters, for the OTS, for 0 to 7.7 .7 meters, we have 47 damage to the head, 31 to the neck, chest, stomach, and then 27 damage to the extremities, which are the limbs. And then moving on up to 7.7 .7 to 16 meters for the OTS, 34 damage to the head, 23 to the neck, 23 to the chest and stomach, and then 20 to the extremities. And then for the PPSH, for 0 to 17 meters, we have 33 damage to the head, 26 to the neck, chest, and stomach, and then 23 to the extremities. So obviously, the OTS at really close range is very, very dominant, really, really powerful. But then, as it kind of extends its range a little bit, it becomes weaker than the PPSH. And again, man, it becomes weaker, and then it's a little bit slower in terms of fire rate, and it has 31 less bullets if you're using the max, you know, mag for the PPSH. So... Um, you know, at times you're gonna see that the OTS will dominate the PBSH in certain ranges. Again, like if you up in someone's grill, you're gonna more than likely win with the OTS. This gun just feels amazing at close range. It literally melts the people like nothing. And then towards the range, it still has the ability to melt. Like, don't get me wrong, this gun still has the ability to melt. But the PPSH also has the capabilities of being able to keep up with it and if not surpass it at those ranges. Um, moving on up to further ranges, like for the OTS 16 meters and above, we have 31 damage to the head, 21 to the neck, chest, and stomach, and then 18 to the extremities. Right there, obviously a clear drop off when it comes to range. And then for the PPSH, 31 or 17 meters and above, 31 to the head, 24 to the neck, chest, and stomach, and then lastly 21 damage to the extremities. So yes, the PPSH also suffers the obvious drop off in range, but it still has a pretty solid damage, whereas the OTS just kind of loses it it's kind of like the mac 10 in a way but the mac 10 gets saved by the fact that it has a really really fast fire rate and it has 53 rounds the ots doesn't get saved by any of that it doesn't have a faster fire rate than pbs h and it has way less bullets than pbs h not to say though i'm not trying to knock the ots because the ots by these stats don't tell the whole story these stats although yes it technically states that this weapon is really weak at range it still it doesn't feel like that at all like you're definitely gonna melt people if you hit all your shots you're you don't get it twisted the stats do tell a story but there's more to the story than the, this just face stats on um, people say man again it does a lot of damage at range but i feel like the ots a lot it's a lot more easier to control at range than the pbs age like by like for sure that's that's definitely a thing um but you know, 40 bullets or 71. I think, if anything, the biggest takeaway from this just comparison is the fact that one gun can hold 40, 40 bullets and the other one can hold 71. I think that is the biggest just point that I can make between this comparison as to picking one over the other. Like, I love both of these weapons. I'm going to continue using both of these weapons. I like the, the OTS a little bit more because, again, at close range, this gun is literally unmatched. 
Um, but you can't go on with the PBSH. That gun literally has 71 round bullets. I said SMG, that's really good. You don't really see that, but you're seeing it with the PBSH. Um, but anyways, man, I feel like both of these weapons very, very, very close to each other. And you can make a case for any any of them. You could really make a case for both of them. Both these weapons, in my opinion, obviously the two best SMGs in the game. I think, is it really the biggest debate? Yeah, you can put the bullfrog up there, but I don't know, man. I think PBSH and, and OTS just off the fire rate alone can beat the bullfrog. But, you know, I have lost to the bullfrog. It's not like it's impossible. And it really just depends on the player. But anyways, man, regardless of that, let me know what you guys think about the OTS PBSH. Which one do you prefer and why? And would you agree of my statement that these two are the clear meta of the SMG category at the moment? Anyways, man, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. And I'm out. Peace.